Oddly enough, this is my first ever visit to Leicestershire Police Headquarters. In the seven years, the force has been coordinating the UK's Madeleine response. What that illustrates is the force's reluctance. OK, absolute determination to tell reporters almost nothing about the investigation. It's always defended that position by insisting it was a Portuguese investigation, which was covered by that country's judicial secrecy. That's meant an often fraught relationship between Leicestershire Police and the media. I can remember a rather rude press officer simply putting the phone down on me for asking what I thought were reasonable questions about the progress of the Madeleine case. And it wasn't just me. For most national crime reporters, Leicestershire Police and its media office got a reputation for being unhelpful, rightly or wrongly. What it further illustrates, though, is the great sensitivity around the Madeleine investigation. Even Jim Gamble, a forthright top investigator who was asked in 2009 to review the case for the Home Office and now runs his own private business, said in an interview with me this week that even now he had to be careful what he said in case someone threw their toys out of the pram. And Mr Gamble is no shrinking violet.